Hi everyone, this is Yvonne from Fingal Libraries. I'm going to read you a story called Rabbit Ears. And this book was written by Amber Stewart and it was illustrated by Laura Rankin. And the book was published by Bloomsbury. So this is Hopscotch here, okay? And Hopscotch, he knew what he liked and he knew what he did not like. He did like his cuddly toy rabbity and he liked building a tower 12 blocks high with no wobbles at all. And he liked chocolatey chocolate cake with extra icing on the side. Hopscotch did not like lumpy pudding. He did not like cold, wet paws. And he did not like losing Rabbity just before bedtime, even though Rabbity was usually found exactly where Hopscotch had left him. And Hopscotch knew for absolute certain that the thing he did not like the most was having his ears washed. He hated having his ears washed. And he's running away from, from his mother there, look. Hated having his ears washed. Hopscotch liked his ears to be dry. He didn't like them soapy. The soap always ran away and then ended up in his nose and made him sneeze. And the sneezes shook him from his soggy, drippy ears right to his toes. Hopscotch didn't like it one little bit. Hopscotch would do a lot not to have his ears washed. And with Rabbity's help, he would hide his ears. Sometimes he would pretend that he had suddenly turned into a cat. A cat with very small, clean ears. Or he would hold on to his ears very, very tightly. <laughs> Hopscotch's mummy tried tricking him and she would say things like, Ooh, where's the aeroplane? And Hopscotch's mummy tried begging him, Please, just this once, let me wash your ears. She even tried chocolate cake. And she tried to give him chocolate cake while he was having his bath and she said look it's your favourite but nothing worked he just did not want his ears washed one day Hopscotch's big cousin Bobtail came to stay just for one day and a night Hopscotch and Bobtail played high jump and long jump and then they listened for danger as they rescued Rabbity from the lion's den and they played and they played until all too soon it was supper time. When can I go and stay all by myself at Bobtail's house? asked Hopscotch, through a mouthful of extra chocolatey chocolate cake. When you are big, little Hopscotch, said his daddy, when you are big, you can stay at Bobtail's house. After supper, it was time for a bath again. Hopscotch was happily playing submarines in the bath when he noticed something odd. Bobtail was washing his own ears. He didn't seem to mind the runaway soap. Not one bit. And he didn't get the sneezes at all. Not one sneeze. Big, ear, big rabbits wash their own ears, thought Hopscotch. Aha, uh -huh. so big rabbits wash their own ears. Well, Hopscotch felt it might be a good idea to practice ear washing on Rabbity first. Rabbity didn't seem to mind it at all. In fact, they had fun with all the bubbles. What are you up to? asked his daddy. I'm practicing, said Hopscotch. You're practicing what? asked Daddy. Practicing washing my ears so I can be big 
and I can go and stay with Bobtail all by myself, said Hopscotch. Well, said Daddy, that is wonderful. Hopscotch knew what he liked and he knew what he really liked. He liked bath time with Rabbity and he liked clean soapy ears. He really liked singing a song with Mummy to celebrate his very clean ears. And his song was soapy, soapy, soapy ears, soapy ears, soapy ears, washy, washy, washy ears, washy ears, washy ears, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, all day long. And best of all, he liked packing his favourite games and waving goodbye to Mummy and Daddy and going to stay with his big cousin Bobtail for one whole day and a night all by himself. Well, almost by himself, but Rabbity, of course, Rabbity went as well. Oh. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening to the story.